Hello everyone. Neo CEO outlines a bold vision for the future, covering stock insights, AI advancements, and the path towards sustainable mobility. So recently, Neo CEO delivered a thought-provoking, hour-long address at a university in China, covering an expansive range of topics, from the company's stock trajectory to the transformative role of artificial intelligence. He delved into Neo broader vision, discussing where the company stands today and his aspirations for its future. The CEO kicked things off lightheartedly, joking that despite Neo current financial losses, every step taken by the company is purposeful and guided by a commitment to a higher ethical vision. He framed Neo work as part of a fundamental shift from traditional gasoline-powered vehicles to electric ones a movement toward more sustainable and environmentally responsible technology. In discussing AI, the CEO emphasized that society must accept the inevitable integration of artificial intelligence, noting that an exceptional car company must also be an AI-driven enterprise. He insisted that success in the automotive industry increasingly depends on seamless AI integration into vehicles, enhancing both the driving experience and vehicle capabilities. Reflecting on the last decade, he took the audience back to Neo challenging days, notably the financial strain they endured in 2019. Despite being under immense pressure and facing severe financial constraints, Neo chose to keep its research and development headquarters operational. Unlike many U.S.-based companies, which often cut staff and scale back operations during tough times, NEO kept its workforce intact, maintaining a long-term mindset even when resources were limited. He hinted at the strong governmental support for NEO, suggesting that the company had faith in backing from public sources when needed. The CEO also touched on the company's stock price, injecting humor into the discussion. Neo stock has experienced drastic fluctuations, peaking in the $60, $70 range but currently trading lower. However, he reminded listeners that it had once fallen as low as $1 per share, which was its historical low. With optimism, he predicted the stock would rebound in the future, expressing personal confidence in its upward potential. This optimism is rooted in the rising adoption rate of new energy vehicles and EVs, he shared that NEV penetration in the market, initially non-existent, has now reached 53.9% and is projected to hit 80% within three years, and by 2030, around 90% of cars on the road are expected to be NEVs. The CEO then reminisced about NEO inception in 2012. He recalled the severe air pollution issues plaguing Beijing and other cities in China and explained that the desire to restore blue skies was at the heart of the company founding. This vision, represented by the name Blue Sky Coming, directly translates to Neo-Chinese name. He saw an opportunity to reshape the automotive industry by creating a company focused on environmental stewardship and innovation in vehicle ownership. He also addressed a past controversy when he made a bold statement two years ago suggesting that gasoline cars were becoming obsolete a comment that sparked criticism after going viral. However, he pointed out that recent data backs his view. About 96% of electric vehicle owners say they would never switch back to gasoline-powered cars. This shift in consumer sentiment reflects the broadening acceptance of EVs as more people recognize their benefits. As the company has grown, it has reached significant milestones, with 600k vehicles delivered by the end of September. NEO has also made a name for itself in the high-end luxury segment, competing against established brands like Porsche, BMW, and even Tesla. Remarkably, NEO has managed to outsell these competitors in China premium EV market, an achievement that underscores its unique appeal. The CEO outlined Neo dedication to transforming the driver experience through technology. One of his major goals is to make vehicles more interactive and voice-centric. This vision includes Nomi, an AI-powered virtual assistant within Neo vehicles, designed to bring a human touch to interactions. Unlike conventional voice assistants, Nomi is represented by an animated head, providing a more personalized experience that feels almost like interacting with a pet. While many automakers focus on performance metrics, such as acceleration, 
NEO prioritizes integrating technology that enhances the entire driving experience. He envisions cars as central to everyday life, similar to how smartphones have become indispensable. NEO vehicles could eventually support live streaming, video conferencing, and other applications, turning the car into a hub for work, entertainment, and daily tasks. In a broader discussion on autonomous driving, the CEO shared a somewhat controversial stance. Rather than deploying robotaxis solely as a business model, he believes the primary goal of autonomous technology should be to reduce accidents and give people more free time. He noted that robotaxis would likely displace millions of workers, a prospect that raises ethical concerns. The CEO illustrated the potential of autonomous driving to save time, citing a statistic that the average person spends around 1 in 300 minutes per year driving. With autonomous vehicles, this time could be reclaimed for relaxation, entertainment, or even sleep, while allowing a safer commute. He expressed deep regret about the high rate of automobile-related fatalities worldwide, estimating that 1.25 million people die in accidents each year. Neo vision for autonomous driving centers on minimizing these accidents and reshaping mobility. When discussing Neo global expansion, the CEO highlighted the company cautious approach. Expansion involves far more than just meeting local regulations. It requires establishing a comprehensive support system, including infrastructure, cloud networks, and physical NEO houses to offer a consistent brand experience. He mentioned Singapore as an example, explaining that entering a new market means bringing the full NEO lifestyle to that region, not just the vehicles. This holistic strategy reflects NEO commitment to maintaining its brand identity and customer experience across borders. The CEO also detailed NEO's significant investment in research and development, spending approximately $3 billion on R&D per quarter. This funding supports pioneering advancements, such as NEO self-developed chips and proprietary operating system. These innovations not only drive the company growth, but could also serve as valuable assets that NEO could eventually license out. He proudly noted that NEO is the first company in China to achieve full self-driving functionality on all roads with its NOT Plus technology, a milestone that Tesla FSD has yet to reach in the Chinese market. Lastly, the CEO spoke about the sense of community within NEO customer base, describing it as transformative. Customers often progress from simply being observers to becoming loyal supporters and, eventually, active participants in the company mission. Many NEO owners volunteer to promote the brand, assisting its showrooms and auto shows. This grassroots enthusiasm has become an invaluable part of NEO identity, and the CEO expressed deep pride in the loyalty and commitment of NEO community. In essence, this speech was a comprehensive look into NEO journey its challenges, and its vision. The CEO painted a picture of a company that is not only innovating, but is also committed to fostering a sustainable, customer-centered future in the automotive industry. He emphasized that NEO mission goes beyond manufacturing vehicles. It's about shaping a lifestyle and building a supportive, community-driven brand that stands apart from traditional carmakers. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.